Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to another episode from Camlet. This is episode 3 and today we are finishing off the main village in this place by adding a couple of new houses. We're doing a little market area, we're doing some smaller farms and changing up the gatehouse because I got some suggestion from you guys and I think we're ready to make a big step and change there. And we're also adding some kind of temple slash chapel thing here for the villagers and also the people in the surroundings. I feel like Hamlet would probably be like the central hub for a bigger community in the fields around this place. If you enjoyed today's episode guys, don't forget to hit that like button. It is the best way of showing support to what I do and I really, really appreciate it. Because uh, right now YouTube has been going pretty rough on all of us and uh, we need to stand out so giving likes is definitely well appreciated guys so as you can see guys basically just spending a lot of time in today's episode just changing small things here and there adding like kind of altering every single video every single block to make uh, make it come alive and make it feel like um, a cozy French little village and I don't know, just spend way too much time on adding the character and detail to this place. But I gotta say, I'm very happy with how it turned out. And I'm looking forward to showing you this in a first person point of view. So let me finish off this and we will do that. I just gotta say, Camlet is definitely my favorite build of all time. It is so cozy, it's so small and so packed with life and atmosphere and I'm just having such a blast building this guys, I'm telling you, I've never been this inspired for a little project like this in forever. Uh, so basically just flying over here, we worked a lot on this area here, the main hamlet uh, village in front of the, the castle here, and just tying all of that in nicely together and then I have been working on this uh, little temple here which is built on a diagonal because you know me we gotta have some of those and then also been planning a little bit ahead for future episodes because i think the next episode is going to be all about the surroundings i want to add like a little uh, road which goes around the entire area here and then add some farms on the inside and on the outside and smaller things here and there maybe for some lumber stuff some yeah windmills and, and things just to kind of make the surroundings of Camelot come alive as well but that's for the next episode today we're gonna check out what we have been doing right here so first of all I changed off the, the gatehouse uh, in the beginning we had two gatehouses and one on either side I felt they were kind of bulky didn't really like it uh, and some of you guys suggested to just tear away all of that and then just build one single like guard tower thing so you'd have like guards standing here and up here and they would protect the gate and like after all it's not a big city it's not like we have, would build like a big gatehouse with machiculations and murder holes and portcullises and all that stuff it's kind of just like hello hello are you going to kill everyone in the city or this town no okay come on in you know just to make sure that everyone that comes in has good purposes or something I don't know uh, this was common in some smaller hamlets and stuff as far as I know. Over here we have a little, uh, I can't remember what this is called, but this is where people would be publicly, publicly ashamed if they did something wrong. Uh, this is not only for the village, but also for the surroundings. As I said, uh, in, in a perfect world, I would build houses like in thousands of blocks around this place. And they would all kind of come in here as the main hub of the lands around here, around Camlet. So, yeah, I just love that little platform there. It looks so cool. And the way these plants just merged merge into that is, is beautiful. And then we have the building in the back there. Uh, then we also have a little bit of a, like, a farming area. There are a couple of uh, chickens just running around the area here, just around the houses. Uh, but this here is a little bit of a pig pen. Uh, for some pigs, maybe just two big pigs running around here, and then we have like this composter here for dead leaves and stuff, uh, hay and things you could put here, and also maybe food from the pigs and stuff. Um, I think that's kind of cool, just adding a little bit of character as well. And then here we have a little wagon which uh, is bringing some stuff from maybe maybe they've been cleaning up the area here, just picking up some leaves from the tree here. 
and stuff uh, to throw in here and they're kind of currently in the process here using the pitchfork here and uh, and uh, just loading it on there uh, so that's what we have over here then uh, we have a little swing I think this is so cute but it just adds some character and personality to the place uh, the children could just like uh, swing back and forth here you know and I think it's so cool I love this tree here just adds a lot of greenery to the place and there's a little bit of a raven up there as well just spotting the people around here so yeah cool stuff like that is the things I love adding and it just makes the builds come alive a lot more then we have this building here another diagonal building this is the carpenter so in the front here we have a little shed thing there's some planks and some wheels and just kind of indicating that he's using his hands and wood and stuff to make stuff <laughs> you know uh, how the carpenters work um, and then below here in the basement again built-in slope so we have this cool area where I can have a basement in the front and just have a slope on the side uh, I discussed this a little bit in the previous video and I, I think it's super cool but here we have some planks and crates and just tools and stuff stored for a doing the carpentry so let's go up here love this little alley here we have some clothes drying up here little area to sit and wash them and stuff like that and then we have a little chicken coop thing for uh, the chickens in the back here just kind of running around and then laying their eggs in here I think this is nice and a little back alley in here basically just a small house very similar to the other ones and uh, we have a little pantry here to just store food and drinks and everything with a nice little view over the, um, the, the village here so that's kind of nice uh, and then we have the the main living quarters which has a little bit of a kitchen on the side here a big oven thing and then a small sitting area to eat and yeah just kind of simple you know you know how it is with uh, the villages around here then we have a little upstairs, just some hay to sleep on. Uh, again, as I discussed, Camlet is a small village, and if you read the lore, the lords of Camlet isn't very rich. And I kind of want to make sure that the people of the houses around Camlet is definitely not as rich as the lords. They're even poorer, definitely not super poor, but uh, yeah, they, they don't have like proper beds. They just sleep on some hay. Some of the houses actually do have beds, uh, but um, yeah, you get the drill here. And then just some storage up here. So that's kind of neat. And uh, let's check out some of the other stuff around here. We can walk along. We have the little market area. We also have a little notice board hanging up here. And something I actually have been doing, which I think makes Camlet come alive a lot more, is uh, just adding patches of like greenery. Like it's just been overgrown. And like here, maybe you just haven't walked here. There's no cars that have run all the way along here. So just over the years, like some small bushes and grass have started growing. And uh, you can see I have some of that over here and also behind the notice board. Because uh, all the carts coming in would have to avoid the, car, uh, the notice board and just go around here. And therefore, stuff is kind of growing right behind here. But people would be walking in the front of here to, to try, go down all of this stuff. So... Stuff like that makes it come alive and it looks a lot greener, I think. Which is always a good thing. Uh, here we have just a few market stalls. This would be maybe from professions in the nearby surroundings. So maybe there's a pottery not too far away. Uh, running a little farm and a pottery thing and it's just coming here to sell them. And then we have a little herb area. Uh, for um, just selling herbs. As I said, we're going to have a lot of small farms and stuff around here so maybe they're just coming in here to sell them for the people and stuff like that and a little tool shed just like a community tool shed for the village it's such a small village i think that's a cool thing just have the stuff you need here uh so yeah that's kind of neat uh, added a lot of this stuff added a little well here oh actually look at me i forgot to dig the well 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 i gotta do that later um, and then some cars here and there and some tables a lot of these just small tables around they look so cool and some bathing trolls like this yeah definitely come on the server guys if you just want to get some inspiration because there's so much stuff here uh, I, I'm very satisfied with the amount of detail I've been able to add to this place but yeah we're gonna check out the temple as well over here 
and uh, again just very overgrown uh, small little area here and especially the places where people don't walk so you don't walk all the way up to the, the temple wall here and you don't walk all the way up here uh, it's also elevated guys it's just kind of slightly elevated here because uh, in spring times the river probably would flow over a little bit so I decided to elevate the whole the ground here and it's kind of supported by this wooden beam and, and um, yeah it just kind of looks kind of cool <laughs> uh, on the surrounding here so I don't know uh, I kind of like that so basically uh, there's a little bit of cemetery thing there and um, just a very old temple building here is slowly falling apart a uh, lot, lot of just stuff overgrowing here and and stuff like that. So let's just walk around here, take a look at all the stuff. And uh, it's very inspired by Kingdom Come Deliverance. I've been taking a lot of inspiration from that while building Camelot, even though we're in a different kind of architecture. But uh, I think it's cool. Uh, a little wheelbarrow design I came up with. Look at this. I think it's so cute. Uh, and I've just been digging a grave here. Uh, someone has passed away, sadly. Uh, so this is a little cemetery around here. I think it's cool how it curves and um, they would definitely just kind of continue expanding this way and then eventually they had to dig down or uh, tear away the, the vegetation here but since no one has really died enough <laughs> to to be here it, it's um, it's still kind of growing so so I think that's kind of cool. There's a little bit of scaffolding here they're kind of repairing the, the temple a little bit as well. You know, it's old. It's very old. I wanted to really indicate that with the building and I think it works. There's also a little bit of a crypt below here, which is where the Lords of Kras... Not Krasberg, Camelot probably will be buried. And uh, maybe they're buried with their family. Definitely the Lords. I have three statues here, so maybe just the Lords are buried here. And then their family is buried outside. But yeah, I think that's kind of nice. Very, very cool little area. Just a very moody, low cellar basement below the, the temple itself which is going to check out all right now so let's fly around here and walk up the little ramp leading up here uh, and here we have a little wooden extension to it i think that's kind of nice and you could sit here maybe like pray and talk to the people i don't know and then in here we have um, the room and Camelot is under the Western occupation and, and therefore uh, using the, the Western religion which contains five gods. Uh, if you're interested you could read up on that in my discord in the lore documents. And um, so we have Arrakis the god of death, we have Mika the hunter, uh, it's a bear, I don't know, I just, I just wanted to change it up a little bit. Then we have Ruar the knight. Uh, we have Epona, which is that one, the, the god of fertility, because it is a small like farming hamlet, so I think uh, that makes sense to have that as a main god. And I can't remember the god of wisdom on the top of my head, but it, it is in the documents if you're interested. Uh, so you can come in here, you could also like pray to all the smaller ones, but the main god of this temple, which is something I always do, every single temple has a main god. And the main god for this one is Epona, the god of fertility, to make the farms go good. Uh, so, very cool, like, simple architecture. Not trying to make it look super wealthy, but maybe, like, they have tried to make it look wealthy. Uh, kind of be taking some inspiration from a local church of where I come from, uh, where it is very old and poor, but they kind of still make it look fancy in a way. So, yeah. That is everything I have done today and it's been taking me too long but it's been so much fun and it's always a small detail that kind of takes me. That's what takes the most of the time but it's also the most fun. So guys, by that I think we will end today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Really do hope that you enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack that like button and if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigoman and I'm out.